Uh, here's a project I've been working on that's inspired by a project in the Arduino Inventor's Guide. And as you can see, there are four input controllers, one for each of up to four players, and the uh, light comes on, and then you have to, as quickly as you can, push the button. And then if you are the winner, you got it before everybody else, then your button flashes like uh, 10 times or something. And the program keeps track of the score and shows you how everybody's doing. Uh, here's what the score looks like. Let's take a look at the code. How does this thing work? Well, uh, GPI of zero, uh, something I learned about recently. I'm new to Raspberry Pi. I'm having a great time learning about it. And GPIO0 seems to be a good modern way to deal with things like uh, buttons and LEDs, which is what I have here. So that's what I'm using. And uh, so let's just go through here. Each player has information associated with it, the name of the player and the button. And this, is, this creates one of these GPIO0 buttons. And same for the LED and then a counter for how many times this player has won. This creates four players. You saw in the video I had four different uh, little breadboards. And um, so I had them connected on these uh, GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. And here's a function that finds the winners. Let's come back to that. Here's the main loop. And the main loop, um, everybody waits for the LED to flash before they can quickly react and hit their button and they wait for between one and four seconds. And um, then um, for every player, we blink the LEDs. And this blink runs asynchronously. So we can just go through and start the blinking for all four players. And um, it only blinks once. So it just turns on for a tenth of a second, and then it's off, and then that's the end of it. Then we find the winners and how much time elapsed. And then we wait just an instant, and then we display the, we blink the LED of the winner 10 times for a 20th of a second on and off each. And then we display a message about uh, who won. We increment the win counter for that player. And then if there was a winner, in other words, uh, it didn't time out because nobody touched the button in the timeout period, then we want to display the winners uh, ordered by who has the most wins uh, so far. So we sort here, this code here sorts on the player's wins in reverse order. So the one with the most wins appears first. By the way, in the video, I hadn't implemented this yet, so they, they, aren't, uh, they aren't sorted. And then to show the wins, um, a little bit of complicated code here to go through all the sorted players and uh, join together the name and how many wins and then um, join all the players together with the string wins. Okay, the last bit is the find winners function and it makes a note of what time it starts and then uh, sets a value f uh, four seconds into the future for the timeout. And then it loops as long as the um, as long as we haven't timed out, and we don't have a winner. Now here, we find the winners. Now it's very unlikely that two people are going to press the button at the same time, uh, same time through this loop. Uh, but if they should, then this will allow both of them to win and get a point. And this says get all of the players if their button is pressed. So winners is a list of the subset of players that have their button pressed. And then if we got any of those, we return that along with the elapsed time. And then eventually this loop may time out, in which case we reach this return statement and we return an empty list and then a zero for the timeout value. Okay, anything else? I think that's what I wanted to show you. The code is on GitHub in my DC Brichetti 
user under that user, D-C-B-R-I-C-C-E-T-T-I. And this is in a section called electronics. Have fun. <laughs>